Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you'll learn how to model loads and generate load combinations in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the process of modeling nodal loads on a completed model. We will now turn our attention back to our sample model and examine the different type of nodal loads that we can add. The first thing we're going to do is go over to our load and definition dialog and identify the loading type that you want to add your nodal load within. For this model, I'm going to add a nodal load within my dead load case. So I'm going to highlight my load case, go up to the loading tab in my ribbon toolbar, and then click on the load items icon. Once in this area, we're going to find our nodal load options. We have two different options we can do. We can select the node option, which will be used to specify a joint force or moment. And we can also enter a support displacement type of load. We'll go ahead and use the nodal load option. Now here you can see we can enter our nodal load in two different types. We can enter a force or a moment. And you can enter these about the global x, y, or z axes. I'm going to choose to enter a vertical force of 5 kips. And I'm going to put a negative sign in front of it to indicate a downward acting force. Once we're done entering our parameters, we'll click our Add button. And then we'll click Close. And again, we're going to find our new loading option added. Now this load needs to be applied manually to the model, and it would be applicable to any node within the model. To select our nodes, we're going to go to the Select tab in the ribbon toolbar. And we have a couple of options here. We have some nodal load selection tools. We have our nodes cursor. And then we also have some additional geometry tools we could utilize. I'm going to take a look at these geometry tools, but before I select the tool I want, I'm going to highlight my nodes cursor. Now by highlighting our nodes cursor before selecting our geometry tool, this will tell the program that we're intending to select nodes in this operation. Now I'm going to return to the geometry area and select the parallel option, and I'm going to say parallel to the XZ plane, which is basically the horizontal plane of my structure. Now I want to select all the nodes at this upper roof level. Now this upper roof level happens to be at 17.75 feet in the model for their Y coordinate. So I'm going to enter a minimum at 17 feet and a maximum at 18 feet. And then any nodes within that range should be selected with this command. So I'm going to finish this off and click OK. And you can see all the nodes at this upper roof level were selected. I can now go down to my assignment method and tell the program to assign this load to the selected nodes. And then we're going to finish this off by clicking on the Assign button. Now I've gone ahead and modeled the loads. And we know that the loads are modeled because we can see the symbol adjacent to that nodal load has changed to indicate that it has been assigned. But I'm not yet seeing that load on my screen. To view our loads on screen, we can go to the Loading tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and then just simply click on the View Loading Diagram icon. And then our load arrows should appear on screen, which is a great way to verify that you've entered your loads considering the correct direction or the correct axis. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.